Hello YouTube, this is Lachlan T 1984 from Melbourne, Australia. Those of you who have been watching some of the recent videos posted by the YouTube user Electronic Forever will probably have some idea what this is. Some time ago Electronic Forever posted some videos of a talking toy like Teddy Ruxpin called Spinoza Bear. I became quite interested in it and decided I would like to uh, purchase one for myself. I think Electronic Forever may find this video interesting. Um, this is a newer version, I believe, of Spinoza than the one that she has, because this one apparently uses CDs, whereas the one she had uses tapes. Before I unbox this, I do have an interesting story to tell about ordering it. I ordered this one new from the company that actually makes them, the Spinoza Bear Company. The cost of the toy itself is, I think, $167 US, and that's for the toy itself and some programs packaged for it. And on the website when I placed the order, it said it was going to cost $16 grand shipping via UPS. And of course, I assume that's when, when shipping it within the US to an address within the US. But of course, I'm in Australia. Um, and so I placed the order and got an email several days later from the people at Spinoza Bear saying that the cost of sending the item to me in Australia from the US via UPS was going to cost $144 alone just for shipping. And I thought, no, oh, there's just no way knowing, knowing I'm paying that much money for it. And I contacted them and said, what's the possibility of having Spinoza shipped out to me at a lower cost to me? I don't care how long it takes to arrive, but is there any chance that Spinoza could be shipped to me at a lower rate? Because I just didn't think it was worth paying $144 in shipping. Which meant the total cost would have come to $307. And that's just not cool. Not cool at all. That's just not what I wanted to pay for it. And they were very, very receptive. They were, the, the Spinoza Bear people were great. I got an email back from them saying, yes, we understand that it's not always possible for people to pay that much money. Normally we ship by UPS the freight company, but we can ship Spinoza Bear to you in Australia via USPS, so United States Postal Service, for $55 for the postage. And I said, yep, alright, that's fine, please go ahead, press us the order. And so they did, and that was, I think about two or three weeks ago I placed the order. Now, as you can see, the box is quite large. It's not that heavy, but it's quite large. For a box this size and weight, I don't know if $55 is sort of the standard rate for shipping from the US to Australia. I know that when I've bought a couple of Teddy Ruxpins over the internet in the past, they've cost around the same amount of money to ship to Australia from the US. Um, so, I have it now. Let's unbox it. I'll need to be a bit careful because I don't want to go giving away my personal details, which are on the box here somewhere. I can't see them and I'm not going to show those to the people on YouTube, but let's see if we can open this box. Can I do this properly? Um, I might have to... Oh no. Okay, so there's no... It's not like... It was packaged in some great big box, and then there are boxes within the big box. So I can actually feel Spinoza's head through the top of this box. So there's not a lot in here. Let me... Uh, and there's Spinoza. Um, Oh, it's a pair of headphones wrapped around his neck. Interesting. Uh, I'll light the box up on its side. What are these? That is... The Spinoza Collection. These must be the CDs that it came with. Yeah, there's a couple of CDs in here. Okay, oh, they're... I'm your friend, and my name is Spinoza. Okay. 
Okay, so they're the CDs that it came with. Alright, I'll just put those to one side and that is... What is this? Catch my hug. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get Spinoza out of the box. Ah, it comes. Whoops. And there's a pair of earphones around his neck, which if I can remove without breaking them, maybe. I might have to put the camera down. Uh, but let's have a look. Oh, I see. There's a zippered pocket on the back here. And if we open that... Whoops. It's going to fall. Uh-oh. Hang on. Okay, that's the CD player that it came with. Okay, so that's, oh, okay, that's how you open it, um, I'll just grab that CD and we'll put that in. So that's the yummy friend of my name is Spinoza one, so these are just regular CDs, and then there's a cable that runs from the earphone output on the CD player up into Spinoza itself. And then you've got the button on the CD player. And then there's a battery compartment on the back. Oh, there are batteries in it. Alright, let's see if it works. If I just, I think, I suspect this one's probably the play button. Oh, the CD player's coming on. sound. I'm your friend and my name is Spinoza and whenever you're near me I feel happy inside. If you like we can lie here together. Jump up to the moon some lazy afternoon Or we could just be you and me If you're sad, you can cry on my shoulder And if you're feeling happy We can laugh all day long You're my friend And I know that you're special so nice to be near you and to sing you my song. Like a butterfly, we dance through the air, or like a whale, we could go race through the sea. We could jump up to the moon some lazy afternoon, or we could just be you and me. I'm your friend, and my name is Spino. And whenever you're near me, I feel happy inside. Hi, what's your name? Wow, I want you to know you're the only person in the whole wide world with your name who looks just like you. 
You're very special. Okay. You're special um, too. Hmm. There are so many things to do every day. Talking and playing. Learning and having fun. A fun thing for me to do is to play pretend. I have a favorite place. It's very hmm. special. Kath, I think that turned off the CD player. The CD player is just a standard little CD Walkman type thing. It's a Kobe brand one. We don't have Kobe brand products, or at least I haven't seen any Kobe brand products here available, you know, at retail stores in Australia. I think it's one of the cheaper American-owned brands. Um, it's just a regular CD player. I do believe from the website that early versions of Spinoza that used a tape deck actually had a volume control knob on the front of the teddy bear's chest that was to look that looked like a heart, I think, and he rotated the dial to adjust the volume. This one doesn't have that, as you can probably see. Um, I thought maybe it was going to, but uh, it turns out it doesn't. So, oh well. Um, I've only just got this thing out of the box, as you can see. And I'm just trying to untangle. Nice they gave us a pair of headphones. These would have been the headphones we really chipped with the CD player. Um, so potentially you could even use this this with, say, an iPod or something like that. I thought, just to give a signs of the toy and everything, I thought the CDs that I was going to use were those little miniature 6 centimeter CDs. But no, they're regular 12 centimeter CDs. So you could pretty much use this with anything and just use it as a speaker. Um... Yeah, I'll have to ser I'll have to listen to these CDs and see if I like them or not. I do think it was a bit interesting of the company to ch to ch specifically choose to use compact discs. I mean, I think they target Spinoza at anyone of any age, but predominantly, I think these things are going to be. I'm not aiming this camera very well, am I? I think predominantly these sorts of things are going to be used by little kids, and I just wonder. If they take care of their CDs or not, it does make you make you wonder. Now it looks like I've got two CDs. There's the one that's in the machine that I put in there, and then there's this other one, which is. There's a couple of programs on it. The printing on these CDs, and I'm sorry about not aiming the camera properly, the printing on these CDs looks to me like it was done by hand. I don't know if it was or not, but yeah. Um, so this one has Dreaming on the water, breathing healthy, breathing free, and new beginnings. That's, well, I should maybe disc two, and I know the other one has only a friend of my name is on it, because that was the program that I was just playing a bit of just now. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop this video now, because I've been rambling on for much, much too long, and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.